Guys, we got a absolutely freaking full plate today. And when I say full plate, I mean a full freaking plate. We got so much stuff to cover, so much stuff to do, and uh, I'm taking you along for the ride. Uh, first stop, we gotta go check on the Black on Black 93 LX because there's a ton of updates, and uh, then we're going out to the shop after that. Like I said, we got a lot to go. Let's go. boys so the situation is like i said we're going out to check on uh jason's uh 93 black on black lx you're gonna love what he's been up to he's been really freaking busy uh number two is hold on go make sure i'm getting the right turn here yes uh sorry i'm multitasking number two is uh ford takeover uh we are officially one week guys today being friday we are one week from ford takeover uh the pre-meet but it is live, it is on and popping. If you need information, thefoxcast.com, click on the Ford Takeover tab, get all the information. Guys, this is, event is going to be unreal freaking big, and you're not gonna wanna miss it. I've been doing some live stream updates on the Facebook page. Uh, if you need more information, go check that. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna shut the, I'm gonna shut up, and uh, we're gonna go check on, uh, check on Stewart's LX. <laughs> Uh oh. Guys, I'm telling you, Stuart has been ridiculously busy. As you can clearly see. And you know, it was a short block the last time we were here. He's driving it out. So. What? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, first and foremost, we got to see under the hood. Because the last time we were here, it was a, it was basically a short block. <laughs> yes, guys, we, there's been just a lot going on, on the outside. We'll get to that in a minute, but I know you're dying to see. Oh, yeah. Dude. That is what's up. Guys, huge shout out for the, uh, the viewer that got the uh, Cobra intake for us and the uh, got that fixed up really appreciate that but man looks freaking great guys one thing uh still fighting a little bit of a miss it's cylinder one yeah. cylinder one guys um got a little bit of a miss it's kind of weird we swapped injectors plug plug wires all that but uh figure it out Kind of frustrating but other than that everything looks freaking man it looks great huge transformation it's been two weeks now you've <laughs> i love the cobra dude you cannot beat the cobra and the gt40 as far as looks they just look like they belong in the hood of a fox 10 times better than a trick though for sure yeah i gotta agree all right guys here's the deal because uh jason was planning on going ahead and painting the car anyway um, we had a few guys that, you know, kind of know paint and body, you know, they were like, you know what, just go ahead and give it a shot. So that's what he did. And the difference is freaking amazing. Now it's not perfect, obviously, and you're not done. Well, you can see you're working on the hood now and you're, this is uh wet sand, right? Yeah, that's wet sand. Okay. Well, it's up to 3000 now. So yeah, doing the several stage wet sand, but you guys, you can see like the difference. That's pretty freaking amazing. <laughs> It came out 100% better. And, and you know, and the, the cool thing is eventually if you do want to repaint it again, you still can, but for now, the it looks so much better. Repaint a 30 year old car now that looks like this. Right. <laughs> it's good, the reflection's good. I guess it was just like the paint was really thick or something. It, been thick. Yeah. Cause I mean, I've sanded it started off at 1000 and went all the way down to three. So. <sighs> but i mean yeah it's i guess i'd rather be thick than thin right yeah. <laughs> i mean i'm no painter but i can figure that one out for myself yeah you can tell this one is getting yeah we still ain't done on this side yet 
still in process but like before the orange peel guys I mean if you go back and watch the video it was it was it was pretty thick but now you can see the reflections like really good reflection yeah dude this uh so I told the owner when you bought this car it was in good hands I knew I knew you would take care of it this looks great dude I'm I'm loving it like the throttle position sensor and all that huh? have you set the throttle position sensor yeah. and all that yeah, that's what I have. seems like guys it's got a little bit of a miss but hard to tell yes it's not like just a tiny exhaust leak over there but other than that he sounds plenty healthy Yes, sir, gentlemen, we are at the shop, and I had a lot of people ask what are some of the uh, different cars, some of the Fox bodies that we haven't mentioned uh, that have been lurking in the background, so I will give you a quick uh, quick rundown on those. Also, boys, I did want to mention that this is a sponsored video by uh, Germex Moisturizing Original Hand Sanitizer that kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Are you scared during the pandemic? Do you need softer hands? Are you tired of touching filthy things and getting diseases? Then by all means, grab yourself some Germex today. No, forget it. All right, let's go see what's up with all these cars. Oh, man. Oh, he's driving. All right, guys, real quick, uh, had some people say, hey, what's up with the, uh, the blue LX hatch? Uh, we're just putting a transmission in this car. Just a tranny swap. But, uh... Whew, man, this thing's had a hard life. Of course, most of them have, guys. It's, you know, they're old cars. They're just old cars. Where are you going to the car? The five lug? Let's see what's under the hood here. Well, yeah, there it is. Looking good. Project, boys, but hey. You gotta save them. So if you find them in this shape, they need saving too. Not not all the uh, all the beautiful pristine cars are the only ones that need saving. Uh, real quick, guys, we are still waiting on some tuning help on Renfro's car, the uh, the turbo build. Uh, still have not gotten this car tuned, but uh, long story, long story. Anyway, let's go see what's popping off in the shop, boys. Oh, it's dark. All right, guys, so the actual reason we're here today is I had to give you an update on the white convertible that uh, the barn fine car, the video I did a couple weeks ago. So I'm, I'm covering that up so you can't see it. But yes, I do have an update for you. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so if you caught the upload where I introduced you to this car, this car was ship sitting in a shipping container for uh, 12 years, I think. A long time. And, uh, was was a show car at, at one point in its life and then just kind of got swept under the rug but so much has happened um as you can see it's it's been cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and it's actually white again instead of gray and um also the interior guys oh my god they've they have been working around the clock trying to get this interior back right um and this is still all the original leather 
hours and hours and hours of cleaning uh new black carpet is in it, it guys it's still a work in progress but uh yeah i mean looking a hundred percent better you can see even the, the back seat and shout out uh to tay's mother that has been just really taking the bull by the horns look how she did on this leather i mean she she is in love with this car she's tickled with this car and uh excited to have a cruiser one quick note boys it is going for a top uh next week after uh i believe after ford takeover so that is what is coming for this bad boy all right boys so another couple of quick updates that you remember the car had a, a smashed windshield you can kind of see something hit it at some point um, but they've got a brand new windshield in it so that is good to go slowly but surely um, this car is getting a new lease on life. Like I said, it's got a new windshield. A uh, new top is coming. See, this thing had a system in it and everything. Wild, guys. Super cool old car. All right, boys. And so you know Ford Takeover is coming up. And uh, I've had some people say, you know, are, are, are the cars from the videos going to be there? Uh, let me try to answer that the best I can. Uh, Boomer's car will not. It's not mobile. Uh, the lead foot gray, no. Uh, the reef blue, no. Uh, this, and actually, boys, you will see a first drive video very soon. A full send video very soon on probably 21 pounds of boost with the Whipple. A lot of boost. Uh, as you can see, front bumper cover is back on. Everything is good to go. We did the first fire a while back. Uh, I say a while back. It's been about two weeks ago. Uh, transmission is full and topped off. I mean, it's it's pretty much ready. And it will be on the track at Ford Takeover. I assure you, you don't want to miss this thing because Lee's going Lee's gonna to drop the hammer, boys. He's going to drop the hammer. Um, very, very good possibility uh, this car will be there. Uh, I don't want to promise because I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what's going to happen between now and then. Uh, but very good possibility that uh jeremy's uh viper blue car will be there i mean it's it's getting there i think the only thing that is really holding it back from being drivable is brake lines uh there's a few more uh few of the custom brake lines that haven't been done underneath it but other than that i mean this thing's coming along really well and also we did fire this thing for the first time uh not that long ago too so probably tentatively look for this bad boy at ford takeover it's going to be sweet. All right, guys. Had to run back out here because I totally forgot Project 4 to 8, which is sitting right here. Guys, also, uh, I do believe Renard's car will be there. We pulled the transmission and sent it off to get freshened up. Um, hoping it'll be back. And, uh, yeah. But, we guys, we will have, at Ford Takeo, we'll have all the channel cars lined up in front of the uh, the Midway area where all the booths are we'll have them all lined up so you can kind of just check them out and see them if you care you know if you don't care then whatever all right guys project four to eight yes boy she's sitting right here clean comfortable just chilling and uh, of course the little sbf hold on let me uh see if i can prop this hood guys i'm, I'm a pro at this i can prop a hood and hold a camera but if you did not see the upload, Project 4 to 8, it's a little small block all sitting in here, comfy. These are not the valve covers that are staying on it. We, we put these junkers on there just to, uh, just to drop the engine in because we didn't want to scratch them or anything. And we've got to port the intake and then there's some other stuff. Yeah. But yes, guys, Project 4 to 8. You can kind of get an idea even though the tires flat and he's got tiny wheels on it it's gonna have a hell of a stance i mean it's going to be sitting right and i'm super excited about project four to eight all right guys that is the update from the shop as you can see guys there's no end of stuff coming um we're gonna do old stock fox body stuff we're gonna do whipple stuff uh turbo stuff yeah all kinds of stuff guys uh promise you it never ends so um that is what is going on if you're watching this on friday the 28th you have exactly one week to get to jackson tennessee uh for ford takeover i promise you don't want to miss it it's going to be awesome basically the first event of the year and uh, i mean drag racing car show pre-meet hangout it's it's going to be freaking epic 
And uh, if there's any way possible for you to make it, come on down. It's literally 10 bucks to get in. 15 if you want to race. I mean, you can't get an event cheaper. I promise you. Sleep in the car, you know, eat at McDonald's or whatever. Just be there. That's all, I, that's all I'm saying. Just be there for TakeOver. You won't want to miss it. All right, so that's pretty much what I've got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'm always going to keep you updated on the cars. I know, uh, I know there's a lot. But luckily, the you know variety is a spice of life, so you don't have to look at the same crap every time you come back to check out the channel. So I hope you enjoy that. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you at Ford Takeover in seven days. Later.